This is the real integrity test. No, we don't hunt steel drums, but if a broadhead will stand up to this test, it will surely perform in the field. Likewise, if it fails here, some may have reason to doubt its field performance. Only the Grim Reaper made it through the gauntlet unscathed. Listen in as Wade explains the science. Now this is a real story. We shot the Grim Reaper razor tip through the steel drum with the blades closed. They had to open as they hit the barrel. Look at this. It didn't pass just through one side of the barrel. Look at the other side over here. That's penetration. And look at those blades. All three blades still intact. That's the right engineering package right there. Here's a myth buster. Are rear opening blades a hot new solution? We'll let you be the judge. Watch on the left of the screen. These rear opening blades resembled a grenade. If it self-destructs on this drum, I wonder how that engineering would do on a whitetail shoulder blade. Ouch, rear opening blades? Hmm. Let's see how the others do when shot into this steel drum. This next test made us wonder. This is an old standby rubber band mechanical. Let's see how it does on a steel drum. We'll let you draw your own conclusions on that one. Good news was, no one got hurt. For some reason, this broadhead reminds me of a full curl bighorn sheep. Engineering and design play a major role in how a broadhead will perform. If the steel is too brittle or too soft, the blades may deform or break when stressed on bone. When you launch an arrow at a potential trophy, you should do so with the confidence that someone paid attention to the engineering of your broadhead. There is a reason why we're shooting this Grim Reaper in an open position. Most heads would explode if stressed like this, but let's see what happens. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. No, they're there. Spin them. So there's some dependability. A mechanical and a steel drum. Now you don't see that done very often because it, it doesn't work very well with most mechanicals. But what we did here was to demonstrate the kind of integrity this broadhead has, we opened those blades up before we shot it. And when it enters, when it hits the drum with the blades open, think of the long lever that's coming out here from the blades, the three blades opened up. That's putting the maximum amount of stress on those blades that you could ever expose it to. It's the same kind of a thing if you were shooting an elk or a, uh, a bison or a zebra. And when you have integrity like that built into a mechanical, you can feel comfortable hunting those big game animals.
Many of the best known riders have repeatedly said that all mechanical broadheads deflect on angled shots. Guess they haven't tested the Grim Reaper. We tested the Grim Reaper extensively into angled plywood and found that the Grim Reaper just doesn't deflect like other mechanicals. It blows through at any angle. We engineered out the deflection problem. Shorter blood trails, longer stories. Hunt with the Grim Reaper and watch them drop.